Hello, good morning, and happy new year. Happy new year. Today, the day that I'm filming this video is January 1st, the first day of 2022. It is currently 8.38 in the morning. I mean, that's not showing up on camera, but it is 8.38 right now. And Ant is still in bed. So he is having a lie-in to start the year. But as soon as he gets his booty, out of that bedroom i want us to head out for a walk because i feel like we should start 2022 as we mean to go on and that is outdoors and if you guys are from the uk you know that it has been pissing with rain all christmas all the way through through to new year it's just been like two weeks of solid rain and i've woken up this morning and it's blue skies i don't want to get excited it might be cloudy by the time we get outside but right now it's looking pretty beautiful so really want to get out get in nature that is definitely one of my intentions for the year ahead to just connect with nature on the regular i was going to say on the daily but let's be realistic that's not going to happen every day but on the very regular on the very very regular you know happy new year bella boo did you wake me up this morning by sitting on my chest yeah here he is of course he's cleaning of course cleaning. he's cleaning of course i'm cleaning up after Zana. Hey, what what else should I be doing? Hobby? What else should I be doing? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oi, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We didn't actually make it to the New Year last night, did we? We went to bed about quarter past eleven, actually. Yeah, we watched um, the two Harry Potter Deathly Hallows films back to back. Yep. Which was good. It was good. It was good, wasn't it? And same then, ending as always though. Yeah, it's always the same ending, isn't it? And now it's ten past nine, he's downstairs. And then I'm gonna try and just kind of cart him out of the house into the car and onto a hike. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I think you might go buy Gales and get a coffee and a pastry because It's New Year's Day. It's New Year's Day. It's not like we don't do that pretty much every weekend, but you know, it's New Year's Day, so we're gonna have coffee and a pastry. <laughs> We're out of the house. It's almost 10 a.m. This feels criminally late to me, but you know what? This is probably what normal people do and times that normal people get out of the house. I'm just used to being out of the house at like, you know, 7 a.m. So, <laughs> guys, it is beautiful. Are you excited, babe? I'm excited for a walk, yes. Yeah, you excited for some blue skies? Blue skies, yeah, and a coffee. And a coffee and a croissant? Yeah, I've already had breakfast though. But you can have a croissant as well? I'll get one to go. Yeah, yeah. Always room for croissant. Always room for baked good. What's your request? Seeded sourdough sliced loaf. Yeah. Plus one one X Americano yeah. with oat milk. Yeah. And put your loving arms around me. Put your loving arms around me. Do you want any baked goods? Uh, shall I surprise you? Give me some, maybe something small. Okay. We got the goods. We got the goods. And is just clearing out Terence's frunk. Of course he is. This is just something he does for fun. Anyway, while he does that, I thought I could share with you that the man at Gales filled my whole loyalty card. I had these three from last week. And then he just filled the whole thing and he said, Happy New Year. That has just made my day. That has made my 2022 so far. Love that, love that. We are on our walk and it's one of my favorite routes. It is on my Surrey hiking blog post, which I'll leave linked down below. But basically doing one that's called the Surrey highlights on that blog post, but a little bit shorter. So yeah, that's the hike we're doing today. And I'm wearing a few of my new Christmas presents. Number one, this is my new barber hat that I got in Ant's family's Secret Santa. Oh. Yeah. Oh, nice. Do you know who was my Secret Santa no. who got my gift? No. Do you know who got yours? Uh, no. No? That's the whole point. It's Secret Santa, isn't it? Well, I told Ying that I got her present. <laughs> <laughs> I think she gathered that I got her hers. Oopsie. Um, so anyway, Aunt's family Secret Santa got me this hat. I got myself a new Apple Watch for Christmas because mine got stolen in Mexico. And then also, I got myself some new walking boots because mine weren't waterproof anymore i will leave the blog post down below that i've got all about hiking kit and these are the boots that are on that blog post look 
these mushrooms we found on the trail? This is a little dead tree stump and they're having a feast on it. Love a mushroom, babe. Love well, a shroom. It's actually so mild that I've taken off my jacket. This is kind of crazy considering it's the 1st of January. Absolute depths of winter. And I'm beading. I'm beading. Hi. So, if you hadn't heard, there's been some crazy moves in the energy markets last year. <laughs> so, it, right, in all seriousness, people living in the UK, or anywhere in the world actually, yeah. are probably going to experience energy price rises yeah. next year. Okay, so where's this conversation going on the vlog? It's something to look out for because okay. your outgoings on energy prices are going to go up next year next year so this so, is a good thing to know guys for a man who's in the know he's letting you know to watch out for energy price rises next year shop around get on the best fixed, fixed or be, be best tariff you can find okay don't just roll on to the standard variable rate which you end up paying the most well that is anthony's tip for the day don't do it today but set bear it in some, mind save yourself some time so I just got to avoid this mud. Shop around for a good energy tariff. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that tip. This video isn't sponsored, but we use Octopus Energy. And we're on a 100% <laughs> renewable energy tariff. They are good. We do like them. Oh God, here we go. She's going to take off in a minute. This, my friends, is my favourite spot in Surrey. St. Martha's Hill. It's absolutely beautiful. And you get incredible views over the Surrey Hills. Are you just wearing a t-shirt? Yeah, I'm calling, calling off. It was all uphill, wasn't it? It was. Can you believe how warm it is? It's crazy. No, I can believe it. It's global warming, isn't it? I mean, it is busy up here, but everybody is out enjoying the glorious weather. And it is stunning. We have finished our walk and I met a few of you guys on the hike, but then also I got back, checked my DMs and so many people DM me were like, I saw you at Newlands Corner today. So kind of feel like loads of you were out in the Surrey countryside as well. So it's nice to see you. I hope you guys had a lovely New Year's Day. And now we're heading home. We're gonna have some lunch and then yeah, settle in for a cozy rest of the day. Probably go to the supermarket at some point. Yeah, yeah? and then we've got Harry Potter, the reunion. <gasps> yeah, so last night we finished. This is how we spent our New Year's Eve. We watched the two Deathly Hallows back to back. So perfectly timed is the Harry Potter reunion that streams today on Sky. So I think we're going to watch that. Me so tomorrow tofu ball? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's my finger. That's his finger, Bella. <gasps> what is in the bag? So we just got an all plants for lunch. This is not sponsored, but I do work with all plants. Um, we have no food in the house. We're gonna do a food shop later this afternoon, aren't we? Yeah. So we thought we'd just have an all plants for lunch. This is a miso tamari tofu bowl. We've just put some rocket on top, because our rocket in the fridge need to get used up. And yeah, that's the plan. Eat this, and then we're doing a food shop. Yeah, chill, food shop. Very relaxed, New Year's Day. Yeah, I want to do some scrapbooking at some point. You can crack on with scrapbooking after lunch. Yeah, and then we food shop later. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys the pantry because I spent the day before yesterday completely clearing out, cleaning it, transforming it, organising it. It's like a completely different room. So to give you context, let me just turn the camera a little bit. So our kitchen is over here. The snug is here, and then this door right here, that is the pantry. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to insert some pictures just next to me of what the pantry looked like. Number one, when we first moved in, and number two, how it looked after we had done the painting and panelling in there, but also after all of our chaos moved into there. So that's been on screen here, and now I'm going to show you it now. And I am so pleased with the results. So I've popped the light on. So you can get full effect. So we have panelling on the side. And now, look at our shelves. Oh my 
goodness. Let's pop a photo here of what it looked like before and after. So yeah, I mean, we've put a little bit more clutter back in. So we've put back in the hoover, the floor cleaner, the ironing board and the rack. I actually might get a little hook on the back of this door and hang the ironing board on there just to get rid of a little bit more clutter. But the shelves have really transformed. I just got these boxes off Etsy. I took the measurements of these shelves. I tell you what, actually, it actually took me ages to find boxes that were just the right size. A lot of them were too high or too wide or too small, but these are just perfect. So yeah, I found these on Etsy. And then these ones up here are from Not A Boring Box. And the jars are also from Not A Boring Box. That basket and the black wire ones are from Amazon. And yeah, that is how it looks. These baskets are all full. I think all I need to do is get some little labels. I might get like some natural looking labels to put on them. So for example, this one would say blankets, cleaning products, etc., etc., And then I would know what's on each one without having to pull it out to check. But pretty much, I feel like we're there with the pantry. And I'm so pleased that finally, like over 18 months since we moved in, this room is feeling complete and looking blooming beautiful. I just need to get some things to put in those jars. So I had every intention of scrapbooking today. Oh, by the way, we timed our walk perfectly. Literally, as soon as we got home, it started raining, didn't it? Yeah. Is it raining now? Yeah, it's raining right now. It's been on and off raining ever since we got home as we timed our walk impeccably. Anyway, every intention of scrapbooking today. Then I had a moment of realization that I have printed all my photos. I've got all my scraps. I've got my glue. I've got all of my like scrapping accessories and tools. But the one thing I don't have is a scrapbook. So <laughs> I'm gonna order one now and I will scrapbook when that arrives. But yeah, I might do a little bit of like pre-scrapbooking organization and share that with you. And while I'm sat here ordering scrapbooking supplies, you're not gonna believe it, but Ant has gone out and sat on that chair because he wants to keep Bella company in the garden. Bella is on the other side of the garden behind this bush, but he's just gone out there just so she knows that he's there. When I tell you this man is obsessed, She's come over to keep him company. Oh my goodness. They are the best of friends, these two. The absolute best of friends. You coming in, sweetie? Okay, bye. <laughs> what did we just do? So we have been researching where to go in April and we decided to go to Madeira. Madeira. So we've got flights, car and Airbnb. Yeah. Good work. Yes. 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 We were torn about where to stay. We were going to stay in the capital of Funchal and then on Airbnb I found the most insane villa. Apparently the drive up to it's a bit sketchy, but it's got a pool. It's a bit, it's like half an hour out of the city, it's like but it's pool like pool. It's about four meters by two meters. I know, but have a little plunge. But it's nice. Yeah. It's got beautiful ocean views, five minutes walk to a pebbled beach. Oh yeah? Yeah. It's in a banana plantation. Oh nice. It looks stunning. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. We're going to go hiking, we're going to conquer the Madeira <laughs> mountains. We're going to go on the black sand beaches and see the waterfalls. Well yeah. done. I was meant to go last year and they got cancelled due to the old COVID. So I'm very excited to hopefully go this year. We will go. We're going to go. Fingers crossed, touch wood and all that. Buzzing. Okay. Next, we're going to go food shopping. We need to do that, don't we? I'm never going to get around to doing this blooming scrapbook organising, am I? We just got home from our food shop. And look at this little nugget. Look at you. Been having a nice nap. Have you been having a nice nap? So before I start cooking dinner, I am gonna organize my scrapbook scraps. So I have all of my photos from 2021. I print them using Snapfish. 
they have an app and you can just upload directly from your phone and then order all the prints like that which is super easy to do and then this is all my scraps from this year so i have everything from christmas cards maps train tickets all sorts of stuff all in here and what i'm going to do is sort through the scraps and the photos and put them in piles and categories based on trips or locations or themes like Surrey or the house, etc. Put it all together into different stacks and then kind of store them as collections of items so that when it comes to making the scrapbook, when I actually get the scrapbook, it's much easier to do it because things already organized into themes. So yeah, that's the task I'm doing right now. First things first, I'll do the photos. So the photos are now all sorted into different stacks, each with a theme or a trip. For example, this is pictures of Aunt and I, of dates and days out. This is all pictures of Bella. This is stuff with my family. This is Santorini. This is the Lake District. This is Stay Wild. This is house stuff. Trip to Hampshire, Lake District again, Tenerife. So each stack has a different theme. And then I'm now gonna organize those scraps and link up the scraps with each stack. So here, all of the scraps and photos have been categorized and labeled, and then I will just pop these all on top of each other, store them away until I can actually put them in the scrapbook itself. But yeah, I feel ready and prepped for the scrapbooking to begin. And it is all back in the box. I know it looks like chaos, but it is organized chaos. And this is gonna be stored in my office until my scrapbook arrives. So I'm making dinner. I've just put the veggies in the oven and this is the protein sauce we're gonna to try tonight. I picked these up at Sainsbury's. Never seen them before. It's a brand called Future Farm and it's called the Future Sausage. Revolutionary sausage made from plants with the texture and taste of pork. And it's mainly soy and pea protein it looks like so gonna give it a go it says that you should grill it or fry oh you can fry it you can fry it okay i'll fry it dinner is served we have got our sausages with parsnips butternut squash and carrot and i feel like we should do a sausage taste test since it's a new brand for us yeah i don't know if it's a new brand in the wider world but... it smells porky it tastes it is good. Once you bite into it, it's a bit it was a bit more dense. It's not like I love it, but it's not like I don't like it. I'm mm. kinda of like it's alright. Does that mm. make sense? I'm kinda of like it's good enough that I'll eat it, but I'm not like, wow, that's a mind blowing sausage. I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good, but it's not like mind blowing. Seven and a half out of ten. Seven and a half out of ten. You think he's talking to me, but actually, he's talking to Bella, who's just here. Hi, Bella. Hello. She says hi. Anyway, it's come to the end of the vlog. It is, what time is it, babe? 8 p.m. Oh, it's 8 p.m. And the Harry Potter reunion is just about to start on Sky, so we need to sign off so we can give it our full focus. So, Anthony. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I'm having for dessert. I've got an apple with some pecans, some pistachios, some hazelnuts, some dark chocolate chips, and some cinnamon. And I have a herbal tea. And I might also have some chocolate later, depending on how full my stomach is, you know, because we have some Christmas chocolate left over. So. Not much. No, it just. It has been eaten, demolished. It's been demolished real quick. Yeah. Real quick. So if you guys like this video, please hit thumbs up, please subscribe, please leave a comment and- And we'll make it your soon. New Year's resolution to yeah. watch Zan's YouTube videos. That's a great <laughs> New Year's resolution. Add that to your list. All right guys, see you soon. See ya. Bye.